It's been a tale of two tech trades since the election, with software stocks rallying as investors seem to move out of semis. The IGV setting a new all-time high today, but will the momentum continue? The chart master Carter Worth says it is time to book it. Carter, what are you looking at? Right. So we put out a note uh, towards the end of the day just saying that the move in the IGV, which is uh, an ETF that captures an expanded technology uh, software complex, is just uh, full. Too far, too fast, uh, almost uh, straight uh, up and to the left, if you will. You can't do that. It has to go to the right every day. Um, and so let's look at three uh, simple charts and get right to it. The first, of course, is a comparative chart. It's depicting one ETF to the other. It's semis, SMH, uh, lagging, of course, and then IGV taking off. So some correlation there that now you have this sort of blowout in terms of performance on the past three months. This is a five-year chart of IGV, and we're about as high above the 150-day moving average. The point of a moving average, call it a smoothing mechanism, free that smooths out uh, sort of intermediate highs and lows. Uh, and then final chart, and, and this is also important, it's a, a ratio chart. This is depicting, right, the current IGV relative performance, the SMH, over the past five years. Every single time it has rallied to this downtrend line, it has hit its head. So at a minimum, if I were long IGV and names like it, and there have been big moves in software, I would trim or reduce um, or put on a pair trade. You highlighted this rotation yesterday. Yeah, I just don't think it's a high-quality trade right now. Mm -hmm. I think it's a lot of traders kind of reaching for stuff that had underperformed. If all the focus on generative AI was hyperscalers and some semis, um, you know, at this point, you think it's all systems go. You go after some of the stuff that's underperformed. I I'm not saying that's a way to do it. Look at Salesforce, if they could pull that up. It's just gone parabolic. It looks a lot like the IGV. It's the largest holding there. And so Microsoft, which is the third largest holding, is stalled. It's massively underperforming the market. And that's one of the names that was one of the early beneficiaries of the generative AI. AI trade. So to me, I think this is low quality. I think you really got to pay attention to NVIDIA and some of their big customers next week because I think the whole trade could take a little bit of a stall. I mean, to Dan's point, uh, Mike, once upon a time, not too long ago, actually, there was a thinking that all the spend is going to AI and AI adjacent and it's going to be coming out of software. They can't possibly, budgets can't possibly pay for everything and software really suffered. If part of the AI trade is sort of reversing, that's, it makes sense that IGV caught a bid. Yeah, but I'm kind of with Cart. Well, first of all, I do get some of Carter's I ideas uh, before Fast Money. So as it happens, I happen to have <laughs> acted on the note that he just referred to. And I did actually buy some put spreads in IGV today. So thank you for that, Carter. But, uh, you know, one of the things I was looking at as it weakened throughout the day, you know, uh, I'm not a technical analyst, but, you know, back in the day when I was trading commodities, the most bearish signal we could see, and I was wondering whether we might get one, was when you see something open at a fresh high and then end up closing lower on the day. That kind of a reversal was basically the most bearish thing we could look at. We didn't quite get that, but uh, when I initiated that bearish position today, that's what I was looking at because it looked like we might be heading that way, and I have a feeling that we're going to start seeing that in a couple spaces uh, pretty soon. Wait, Mike. This is some old school stuff. Maybe they could put us in a three box here. This is some options yeah. action stuff like here. Come on, yeah. Mel. I mean, pretty it good. Really there is. we go. And Guy was the major fill-in on he that was. program if one of us was out. So yeah. shout yeah, out. Just away. like old times.